Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much once again and welcome back to our channel uh, at Metrignated Plus Specialist, whereby we are specializing on all our subjects that we are teaching. And then today, uh, <clears throat> figure eight, geography of South Africa. The content is being mind that uh, of term three in September. And then we uh, we are going to check now uh, the significance or the uh, importance of mining where in South Africa. Remember, we have said we've got different types of mine and under 6.4, we are going to deal now with mining as a production of uh, economy of the GDP in South Africa. They say in terms of the contribution of mining of the uh, country's GDP, gross domestic product, the value that it inputs in South Africa is ranked to the fifth in the world. So it plays a vital role in our GDP cause, domestic product. Uh, and then a uh, uh, 6.1, you can see uh, there. I want us to view very well so that it's out. Okay. And then you can see very well uh, now. And uh, why is mining uh, being uh, considered a primary activity? Why do we say mining is a primary activity? Remember, prim uh, primary activities is ex excretion of a uh, minerals on underground so then we are saying again 6.1.2 discuss a uh, two physical factors uh, that promote what mining in south africa and that is for four marks and then uh, this one is foot mining and the activity of mining in south africa okay 1.6.1 let us check now our memoranda and then if you can go they would see the uh, And then we would see the uh, our answer. Uh, if ever we are moving on again, okay. And then there is uh, our answers. Then we can see that uh, here in 1.6.1, .1, the answer is there. And then we have seen it. Let us go and answer the question. Uh, Let's answer this question, okay? And then why are we saying that? We have seen that we are saying uh, why? It is because uh, mining uh, is considered as a primary activity because of we extract uh, goods or we extract uh, minerals underground, the extraction of minerals underground and why uh, two physical factors that they promote uh, now mining. Then let us see uh, mining. And then we can see there is it. And then if we are moving on, you can see the answer there of uh, extracting raw materials uh, underground is one mark. And then why uh, the physical factors of promoting mining there, these ones, uh, is because of there is rich material uh, deposit in South Africa, is because of the minerals that we are having underground mines. And then number two, the variety of minerals in South Africa. So we are talking about the variety, there are many uh, varieties of, it can be coal, it can be platinum, it can be gold, and because of this favorable a uh, geomethyl gradient so the gradient and the slopes uh, they are favoring mining and then we are saying most minerals are mined through the open cast remember we've got two types of mining is an open cast a uh, process during a uh, reducing risk so in an open cast there's no one that is going underground but the machinery uh, it is the one that is uh, doing the work which is reducing the risk and then we are saying most minerals are located close to the surface so there's no need of the workers uh, to dig more and to go underground a moment they are digging. And then lastly, we can see that <coughs> excretion a uh, out of a uh, aspect, then you are getting your marks. Then we move on again uh, to the other question. Again to the other question. And then uh, this is the question that we are moving in. And then it says uh, suggest one way, uh, suggest one way here. Yeah in which uh, South Africa can address labor issues uh, in order to improve the working area. So remember uh, the world ranking. So remember guys, there are other labor issues to say that the workers, uh, they are earning uh, a minimum wage whether, whereby they cannot uh, provide for themselves. So we want to improve and to address these labor issues in order to improve in terms of ranking. Uh, this one, uh, 4.6.1, uh, 4.6.4, uh, this one, uh, it is this uh, in a paragraph of hotels why the economy is important of mining uh, for infrastructure and industrial development in south africa why uh, we are saying uh, it is economic advisable for mining uh, 
to ensure that there's infrastructure and the development that is happening in South Africa. And we want the uh, labor related uh, issues. Then it's for two marks and for eight marks. Then let us go uh, to our uh, answers. And then uh, if we are going on, we would see that uh, that it can be a uh, number one to ensure a better economic climate uh, for promoting labor peace. There must be a labor peace uh, in order to ensure that the climate is good. And then uh, how can that uh, happen to improve conditions uh, for labor broking? Uh, they must be provided enough money and uh, create more uh, collective bargain council to improve the incentives and working conditions of miners. So they must ensure that they remunerate them in terms of incentives. Uh, by saying this one is an employee of the week and give the money and then improve salary adjustment to come in line with the CPI and increment of money. And then how can we improve that? Uh, it is by improve medical aid assistant uh, to labors. That can be the other aspect and to improve housing allowances so you must give them housing allowance remember some of them they are staying far and they are working where it is not their home and then workers have share in the company provide all incentives and then to commit a eh, improve safety measures so those are the aspects that you can do to ensure that mining team and anyone who resulted in two marks and then we move again to the importance now of infrastructure and industrial development why a eh, how does mining improve infrastructure and eh, by this course we have said uh, we are talking about mining the effect of mining in infrastructure remember the infrastructure of south africa eh, it is indeed eh, continued by mining supported by mining because of it produces a gdp we are saying a eh, mining encourages growth and development of transport network and improves eh, improvement of water eh, infrastructure and the other aspect it can be mining requires a high efficient energy usage and therefore improves uh, electricity grid supply uh, power utilizers for mining are created uh, for more remote rural areas and ensures a growth of marginalized communities uh, where the community uh, are balanced and they are equal and then we are seeing information of uh, and communication network uh, cell phones networks internet and the connectivity are improved in, in terms of the infrastructure and then that can be a factor that can promote and then we are seeing uh, the telecommunication and network are also improved so under industrial remember us we've got a uh, types of industries and we have been talking about these types of industries on our videos and then we have said that when they develop the economy is stimulated remember we have said that when industries develop and the economy will be stimulated and remember we've got different types of industries you go back and watch a uh, related videos that we have posted here and then we are saying a uh, now uh, under industrial development we are seeing related industries and industrial development from a uh, mining grow as mining communi uh, communities develop around the mine, uh, opportunities at a uh, value exist in most uh, mineral found in South Africa. And then iron ore has a uh, developed uh, melting industry, and there is more employment opportunity, uh, growth, and development that exist in factories. And then uh, lastly, we are saying uh, that supply mining uh, equity equipment to mining and then uh, that is the question i want us to move on again to uh, the other question now we'll be moving on again to activity 6.5 uh, and i hope uh, you are... and then if we are going to 6.5 uh, remember 6.5 is meaning about coal and coal they play and how they produce a uh, to gdp so we are saying let us read the extract below it says a uh, Coal mining in South Africa plays a significant role. The word significant, it is important in the country's economy, as it is uh, the responsible for nearly three quarters of a uh, ESCOM fuel supply. It also supplies coal to Sasson, 35% of the country's liquid fuel, those diesels and petrol. A coal mining in South Africa is centered on the high felt through roughly 60% of the country's deposits located uh, Emalasini Wheat Bank. Remember, we have seen also the structure of a uh, wheat bank and the surrounding areas. Remember, we have studied that. You can go to the previous video and you'll see that uh, we've got a uh, just uh, uh, four questions. And uh, number one, uh, they are giving us to say name the province in which most uh, South Africans coal fields are found. So we want a province here in 6.5.1 and 6.5.2 and name two major industries. So we said we've got types of industries uh, in South Africa. 
that are dependent on coal as raw material. They want coal to be raw material here. And then we have 6.5.3, state two environmental problem. The word environmental problem, the problem that they can be caused in the environment resulting from coal mining in South Africa, the issue of smoke, and then it's four marks, it's two marks, and then it's one mark. And then if ever we are going on again, we'll see, we would be going to the last uh, question, but let us check uh, those three. And then if ever we are going on again, Uh, if we are going on again, we'll see uh, that we are here, uh, 6.5. So we are seeing the province there it, in Emalasheni, you get the mark for that. And then uh, for those we are saying that uh, 6.5.2 is ESCOM and Sasol. They call as a source of a raw material. They need it uh, as a raw material to ensure that they produce their final product, which is electricity and petrol or diesel, I hope that is um, clear. And then this one, uh, 6.5.3 is because of uh, now, the land is degrading or the open cast mining in the eye or uh, the pollution, the air pollution from burning uh, the coal to generate electricity. So that is 6.5.3. See that uh, we are having some other question and that we need to answer. So those were the environmental problem to say, the mining uh, is regarded as a problem. And then if ever we are going in 6.5.4, we are saying coal and mining and coal dependent companies. So these companies, they depend where? On the mine for coal. Should work together to rectify environmental injustices. Remember because of they are producing smoke, the environment will not be friendly. And these we call them environmental injustices associated with coal mining. In a paragraph of about eight lines, explain how uh, this can be achieved. Four points and then two marks. So they say they must work together, these companies, and ensure that this environmental uh, balance. Uh, we must explain how uh, this can be achieved. What measures can be taken to achieve this goal? I hope that the question is clear. We would see that uh, we are going to discuss those particular aspects. And the last one, uh, these environmental injustices, it's number one, uh, the land mined as an open cast to uh, coal mines need to be rehab. We are saying that uh, the revegetation and restoration of land fauna in the area where mining occurred must be monitored. And then we must ensure to apply the polluter pays principle and fining companies you must pay fine responsible for high levels of air pollution it means fines must be proposed by the government and then if ever we are moving on we'll see apply scrubbing and cleaning technology to smoke stacks and then offsetting carbon footprints with carbon credits and the last aspect is planting of more trees to offset carbon emission or carbon dioxide that is how we can rectify the way to rectify it means we can fix we can try to fix the environmental injustices that were brought by this if we are moving on again and uh, we are going to move on uh, to the other uh, activity uh, if ever we are moving to the activity and then if we are moving on we would see that uh, down as they are important and lastly we can go to this particular activity whereby we'll be discussing the gold production. So we'll be studying the gold production under activity six, and we are answering these questions. And then before we can go on, we say refer to the figure below. The figure is given and then uh, showing the major world gold producers. So these ones, they produce more gold, gold mining and uh, production statistics from this period uh, 2014 to 2017 uh, on Houghton gold mines. So let us study the statistics and that is given below you'd see that uh, these are the areas where these uh, are taking place. The Val River operation, it has produced this one, the OA, uh, and then the Tree Fontaine is there. You can see the South Deep is there, the Triof is there, and then the West West operation is also there situated in Houghton. So these are the statistics for 2017. So from 2014, you can see that um, the gold production uh, 
it was a declining going down and then you'd see by 2015 again it went up and so this one it is a graph scenario that is representing over the four period of years at the gold production so lastly here you could see that uh, these are the producers of gold and this is uh, here in south africa so we are saying uh, we are compared to other nations as you can see there there's china and uh, which produces 455 uh, there's australia produces a uh, 276 uh, and then uh, or, uh, russia uh, is 259 as you can see the graph going down below so from up for those that they produce more and to those that they produce uh, less and then if we are to see here 6.1.1 they say name the province uh, where the gold uh, uh, is mined in south africa obviously is houghton province and then number two uh, 6.6.2 which gold mine in houghton produces a uh, more gold in ounce in south africa we go to OZ, you can see there in South Africa, and we see the ounces here. So we can see which one produces more. And you can see this 660. Other question is say, name the mining company that produces a uh, most gold. So let us go and check those uh, aspects. Then let us go and check those uh, questions. And then uh, if ever we are going out there, uh, We'll see that we'll come to. So you can see there uh, is Houghton, as I've said, number one, and then uh, that would be 6.6.2, uh, 6 the West Gates operation, and then 6.6.3, Angalo Gold, the company, uh, HT. Then let us go again. You will see that uh, that was the company. And then if we are going to 6.6.4, name the country with the highest uh, gold production for uh, gold in the world. Obviously, we read the instruction here, and then it's China. So that one is China with the gold production. Uh, it's China. And then we can see, we are moving on as 6.6.5. What is the ranking of South Africa in terms of the uh, gold production, in terms of the wealth? And then we can count here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then it's number 7. You can see it's on 7, South Africa. And then let us check those answers. As I've said, there is China, and then uh, South Africa is on number seven, as I've shown you, and then we go again to uh, this one, 6.6.6. Uh, .6. Uh, calculate a contribution uh, that Africa made to the world uh, gold production in January 2017. January 2017. And then you can see uh, that is January 2017. So there, you can see that is January 2017. You can see there, the number is there. Then you can go to our answer. And we are saying a uh, 140 plus 90 is equals to 230, uh, this one. And then you can uh, move on again uh, in 6.6.7 and 6.6.8. And then at the end of which year did South Africa gold production drops to its lowest point according to the year? And lastly, uh, is the most recent production of gold South Africa showing an increase or a decreased trend? You can see which year did it drop. You can see the year that it was 2016 when it was a bit down there. And that, uh, let us see. And is it showing a decrease of an increase? It was in 2014, yeah, you can see it was low and it is showing a decrease. 2014, and then it is uh, showing a decrease. And then let us see, as you can see very well here, uh, that this year it was dropping and it is showing a, a decrease. If ever we can check very well here, the reading is going down other than going up in this region. And then for me, night and keep on studying, tune on uh, again to the next video, uh, where I will be answering more of this module. For me and my crew, I'm saying good night and hit the subscription button. Thank you.